For decades now, scientists have been discovering new planets outside our solar system. By 2023, we've found more than 5,000 of them, and many of these exoplanets could potentially even have life. Now, if you're ready for a wild ride through space, let's find out what potentially habitable planets we've discovered in the last few years. LP-890-9b and LP-890-9c Buckle up, because we're heading to LP-890-9, a red dwarf star located a whopping 105 light-years away from Earth. This star is quite cool compared to our Sun, in terms of temperature, of course. It has a temperature of about 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, this little guy may be small, but it's packed with surprises. For example, two exoplanets orbiting around it. Moreover, both of these planets are likely terrestrial, meaning they are rocky just like Earth. First up, we have LP90-9b, which was discovered in 2022 using the TESS telescope and later confirmed by the Speculus telescope. This planet is a super-Earth, weighing in at about 13 times the mass of our own planet. It's also slightly bigger than Earth, with a radius about 1.3 times larger. And if you thought Mercury's orbit around the Sun was quick, just wait until you hear about LP-890-9b. It takes about three days to complete one lap around its star. Imagine falling asleep in freezing winter and waking up in hot summer. But the real showstopper here is LP-890-9c. This one was discovered by the Speculus Telescope. It's a bit further out from the star and takes a leisurely 2.5 times longer to orbit than LP-890-9b. It's also a bit larger than Earth. But its real claim to fame is its location within the habitable zone of its star. That means it could potentially have liquid water on its surface and a climate suitable for life. Now this planet becomes a prime candidate for studying its atmosphere using the James Webb Space Telescope. But hold on, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for LP-890-9c. It's also really close to its star, meaning it's full of radiation that could potentially make it less habitable. And to top it off, it's tidally locked, just like our moon. That means one side of the planet is always facing the star and is incredibly hot, while the other is always in the dark and really cold. Scientific models suggest that this planet could be more like Venus in terms of its atmosphere and climate. And Venus is, you know, isn't known for being human-friendly. But despite these challenges, LP-890-9c is still a fascinating exoplanet worth studying further. Who knows what secrets it may hold? Let's move on to the next candidates. GJ-1002b and GJ-1002c an international team of scientists, led by researchers at the Instituto de Astrofisica de Canarias, has found two Earth-like planets just 16 light-years away from our solar system. They both orbit a red dwarf star called GJ-1002. Our Sun is a yellow dwarf, which means that GJ-1002 is much cooler and fainter than our own Sun. But that's okay. Both planets are very close to its star, so it shouldn't be too cold or dark on them. These planets, called GJ-1002b and GJ-1002c, are both in the habitability zone of their star, meaning they could potentially support life. Also, both of them have masses similar to that of Earth. GJ-1002b is the inner planet and takes about 10 days to orbit its star, while GJ-1002c takes a little over 21 days. These planets are great candidates for studying their atmospheres and could even be targets for future missions to search for signs of life. The most important thing is that these two planets could potentially support life, and that's pretty cool. Plus, the fact that they're located so close to us means that we might be able to visit them someday. Well, maybe not us personally, but you know. And maybe one day, we'll even find some extraterrestrial life on one of these planets. Now that would be out of this world, but moving on to the next one. Kepler-1649c Kepler-1649c, also known as the Lost Exoplanet, was rediscovered in 2022 by scientists using data from NASA's Kepler spacecraft. 
This exoplanet is located about 300 light years away from Earth and orbits a small, cool star called Kepler 1649. It's about the same size as Earth, and just like the previous ones, it's located in the habitable zone of its star. Initially, the data about this planet was discarded. A special computer program called RoboVetter, written to automatically sift through the volumes of Kepler data, labeled this candidate as a false positive. In other words, the program thought it was just some kind of an error or interference. Fortunately, the researchers double-checked such things, and when rechecking the data, they managed to rescue poor Kepler 1649c. Now we know that this is a terrestrial planet just like Earth, and if it really does contain water, there could even be life there. But don't pack your bags just yet. There are still many unknowns about Kepler 1649c. For example, we don't know what its atmosphere is like or what kind of surface it has. It's also possible that the planet is tidally locked, just like LP 890-9c. That would be, uh, unpleasant. That's why Kepler 1649c is definitely worth further study. Maybe it turns out to be a perfect place for us to set up a vacation home in the future. Just make sure to bring plenty of sunscreen since the planet is pretty close to its star and things could get pretty toasty. Kepler 1638b. This exoplanet is located about 5,000 light years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. It's also located in the habitable zone of its star. It was discovered in 2020 by the Kepler spacecraft through the process called transiting. They basically take a bunch of photos of the star at different times. After that, the programs analyze these photos and look for small spots and dots on them. These tiny dips in brightness may mean that a planet was passing by the star. Kepler 1638b is a bit of an oddball compared to most exoplanets we've found so far. It's about four times the mass of Earth and has a radius about two times that of Earth, making it a super-Earth exoplanet. Its orbital period is about 260 days, which is quite close to our Earth, and that's great! Finally, at least somewhere, winter and summer will flow normally. Kepler 1638b could have some liquid water there. That's why it's also a good candidate for further study, to see if it could potentially support life. Let's hope that we'll find out more about this planet in the future. And finally, the last one. Kepler 438b. Kepler 438b is an exoplanet located approximately 640 light years away from Earth in the constellation Lyra. It was discovered in 2015 by the Kepler Space Telescope. One of the most interesting things about Kepler 438b is its size and location. It's about the same size as Earth and also orbits within the habitable zone of its star. But there are a few catches. For one, Kepler 438b orbits around a red dwarf star, which are known for their high levels of solar radiation and flare-ups. This could make the surface of the planet too hostile for life as we know it. In addition, Kepler 438b has a much shorter year, only around 35 Earth days long. This could lead to extreme temperature fluctuations on the planet's surface, but maybe it's home to some hardy extraterrestrial life forms that have adapted to its unique conditions. Or maybe not. Either way, it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. This is a small list of exoplanets that we've discovered in recent years. Now, with the use of new technologies, we'll be able to find new exoplanets much more often. Let's hope that at least a few of them will really be inhabited. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.